The man whose family hosted the private fireworks show that turned deadly this week says he still doesn't understand what went wrong. He says it was a neighbor's cannon used to set off some of the fireworks that exploded. I understand the fireworks are legal there, but that cannon, from what it sounds like, basically must have turned into a pipe bomb. The shrapnel killed a woman and injured nine others, including his son. Dude, you're playing with, uh, with explosives of, of that magnitude and have it work like a pipe bomb? Yeah, you're lucky it didn't kill everybody in, you know, for a 30-yard radius. The family of 41-year-old victim Jana Daniels says she was the mother of a 9-year-old boy and a substitute teacher who recently worked at Burton Elementary in Grand Rapids. Deputies say she died when a piece of shrapnel penetrated her chest. There's going to be a huge liability problem there. Like, they, absolutely, that, that, that lady and her family have a wrongful death suit against the guy who brought that cannon, and they're probably going to drag in the other homeowner because he didn't, you know, do anything to prevent it. And, they weren't being safe, and I mean, this is just, this was stupid. It shouldn't have happened, and this is how people get hurt and killed. This is bad. I tell them just how, how sorry we are about what happened. Homeowner Rick Manetza says his son Colt was lighting some of the fireworks at their home on Main Street in Park Township. We uh, do it every year. Yeah. We never have problems like this. And he was doing the uh, fireworks that, that we bought at the store, but this other guy, he brought a cannon. But I mean, even if this guy, you know, or this lady had been killed by fireworks that they had purchased and used as intended, and somebody got hurt with those, yeah, you're still gonna have liability because you did something that wasn't safe. You didn't create a, you know, safe environment. I mean, if you use fireworks properly, you know, you can do it safely without hurting anybody else. Then just after 11 that night, the cannon exploded in the road out front, spraying shrapnel. Deputies described it only as a device that exploded while being used to launch fireworks. They called it an accident. The homeowner says his back was turned at the time. I didn't see the girl laying in the yard over there, but my son was on the ground over here. And another one got hurt, too. It went right, right through his leg. But as soon as you start doing things that hurt other people, you are going to be held accountable, held responsible, and have to pay for those damages. It's, it's actually kind of simple. Let us know what you think in the comments below. And while you're down there, please like and subscribe. Thanks again for watching.